This is Kendra from Redgate. I want to show you a little bit of a hidden feature in SQL change automation in Visual Studio. So I've got a SQL change automation project that I just opened in Visual Studio. And I have made a large amount of changes to my development database. In fact, I've made 10,000 of them. Now, you may notice looking at my object names, these are not particularly meaningful names. Yes, I just named them with numbers because I did a simple loop to generate them. But you might wonder, oh, what if you only, you know, if you've got all of these changes, what if you only want to import some? Well, I can just start typing. So I'm going to type 1001. I only have one object that's named 1001, and that automatically filters for it. I'm going to click backspace and that clears that filter and I can then enter another text string. This time I filtered on a different number. And again, I can use my keyboard to type and filter. Now the filter isn't specific to just numbers. It just so happens that that was the naming convention I used in this case. But this is a really cool and I think in some cases useful feature in SQL change automation where you can filter what gets considered to be imported as a migration script. Thanks for joining me for this quick tip. I'm Kendra from Redgate.